Hey guys, welcome back to Tamiya Legends and once again thank you for stopping by. So this is part two of the Tamiya Dirt Thrasher restoration. Um, at the end of part one we had everything in bits basically. So on this part two, the first thing we're going to start with is the gearboxes and start putting the ball bearings in them. Let's get cracking. So this is where we're starting, we've got the both front and rear gearbox houses, we've got the gearing and we've got 12 um, bearings, that's all we've got. Um, as I said, I didn't plan to ball race this, but we'll use these up um, where we can. Let's get cracking. Right, that's the gearbox is built up. Um, I got, I had, as I said, I had 12 bearings, so I've used them up now. Um, so we managed to put four bearings in the rear cups. Um, unfortunately, on the front cups, I've had to, I've only had two left, so I've put them both, one on each on the inside. And then I've had these brass bushes, which are a little bit tighter um, in the fronts, and the rest of the bearings are on the two diffs and then the little uh, drive shaft cups. So next stage now is to um, get these gearboxes mounted onto the chassis, so well, let's get cracking. Right, both gearboxes mounted. I don't know if you noticed on the time lapse, but at first time attempt, I forgot to put the prop shaft in. Awesome. So, anyway, this is all bolted down and all feels pretty smooth, feels pretty nice. So, I think I'll just concentrate on the back end. So, next stage, we'll get the um, rear shock tower on, uh, and then we'll get the rear wishbones on, bolted up, drive shafts in, um, and then we'll go from there. Right, and the car is back together, pretty much. Um, I've just put all little bits on, like the rear body mount, a spoiler um, mount and the bracket. Um, what else have we got? We've connected the steering up nice and smooth. All the front wishbones and rear wishbones are smooth. Um, and everything's spinning freely as it should, so we're good to go. So next thing we're going to do is we're going to rebuild the shocks back up because we drained them, so we'll fill them with oil and then we'll build them back up and then we'll mount them to the car. Um, so let's do that. Right, that's the car. I've just built the wheels back up and stuck them on the car. Um, I wasn't very happy when I mounted the shocks on. Um, too much ground, ground clearance and not enough adjustment on this. Um, so I've swapped them round because the springs are different front and rear. And I don't really think it matters too much which way around you have them. Especially for what I'm doing. So I'm, I'm kind of um, 
tuning it to kind of run it where I'm going to run it so it needs to sit a little bit lower um, so I've done that I've also taken the shock collars um, off there just to drop it another I don't know it drops it in about another three mil but there's still a lot of uh, uh, ground clearance but anyway it's, it's nice and smooth um, and the shocks themselves are lovely now um, but I won't know until I've got the motor and the, the servos in and what have you um, for weight so we'll go back to the shocks for tuning um, later on so next thing to do now is get the motor in the, the motor mount find the correct pinion get the motor in and then we'll start putting the we'll reset the radio gear servos and then we'll we'll start fitting them in and then we'll also clear clean this three step up um, I've got some Tamiya switch lubricant so I'll, I'll, I'll scrub it up first and then I'll clean it and then we'll get this mounted um, so let's get cracking <laughs> Right, that's the car. I've put the wheels back on. I've tidied the wiring up. Um, quite good on this car because there's there's lots of um, spaces just to tuck the wires in. Um, I've not even had to bother tie wrapping it, um, which is nice because obviously the stuff's going to come back out once I've run it. Um, so everything's set up. Um, I've put a battery in there as well for um, to see how the, the sort of the car sits. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, it's pretty good. I might have to put the collars back on. Um, as the majority of you guys know, I only run these on tarmac um, and then do a little bit of off-road, but nothing major. So it doesn't need a massive uh, ground, ground clearance. And I also like the cars to sit low to the ground. I just think they look better. But there's... Um, I mean, those rears are lovely. Front's a little bit hard, but... Nevertheless, there's, there's plenty um, clearance under there. Um, just put it back together. So obviously it's got the battery in. Um, I've got a, a little connector that I made from Dean's to Tamiya, just so I can use the old three steps. Um, let's just switch the tranny on. I got this switch, made the switch a little bit more accessible and uh, it moves. So we've got the steering. Quite sharp, and then we've got three step speedo. You can see I've cleaned the three step up, um, and it works a lot better now. Reverse. and smooth. So there's uh, quite chuffed with that. Um, just gonna have a little blast on the floor. So as you can see, she's ready to run. Um, sounds great, it sounds really smooth. There's no nasty cracks or horrible noises coming from the gearbox. It's, it's pretty sweet, to be honest. Um, just while I've got this, I just thought I'd show you quickly. Obviously I'm running um, two point, sorry, 7.2 NIM, um, which I always use. But I've, got, I've just got a, a new 2S LiPo. Um, this is my second. It's not LiPo, is it? I keep saying LiPo, it's LiPo. This is my new 2S LiPo battery. Now this is the one that um, matches the Tamiya racing packing size. So it fits straight in, which is absolutely awesome. Now here's the thing I, I, I didn't realize. On my other LiPo, um, the cables come out of one side. Um, and in a lot of Tamiya vintage buggies, the cutouts, 
for the battery holders are on the inside so this is dead down the middle so it gives me the ability to mount it as like that it's absolutely perfect um, so I'm well chuffed with that and obviously the, the LiPo's are a lot lighter but you get a rough idea from this angle of the um, clearance I've given it which is plenty to be honest um, so I'll probably leave the collars off for now right we'll end the video here at part two the car's ready to go um, so please join us in part three where we'll look at the cosmetic side of it um, obviously we've got original shell and wing to paint decal we'll sort these tyres out make them look better possibly do a tyre rag team. Um, but um, yeah that's in part three so once again thank you for watching um, it's much appreciated if you are new to this channel if you can please consider liking and subscribing to support us um, for our weekly content that would be awesome as well and um, most of all guys happy assing